Well, I can't say this is the most visually appealing car that I've ever driven. We are back playing Forza Horizon 3 and what we have here is the HSV GTS Malou. Now this vehicle has a 6.2 liter LSA supercharged V8 engine that derives from a CTS-V. Now it's possible this vehicle may be a little bit more attractive if it was not in this snot green color, but one thing is for sure, in Australia, they like their youths. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, AKA Don Squally. Back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 video man I don't really know what to say about this vehicle man now obviously it's loud obviously it's fast you know um is it a nice car to look at from the front it I guess it kind of looks like a G8 from the back though, it looks like like it should be doing 90 miles an hour across a friggin' lake or something like that. It literally looks like it's a boat. Like, I don't know, it looks like I should be sitting in there with a beverage, skipping across the water, towing somebody who is water skiing behind me. It looks all right from the front. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe with a little bit of uh, oh, my mistake, my mistake there, boss. Uh, maybe with a little bit of grill work. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, nonetheless, this HSV, man. I don't really know a whole lot about it. We are test driving it um, now. I I don't think I have too many fans that are from Australia but if I do please let me know down in the comments man because I I would be absolutely amazed if my videos reached that far in the world I think that's literally the other side of the globe <laughs> but obviously we have a GM derivative now HSV um, I thought at first was a Holden but apparently it's own company I believe correct me if I'm wrong um, I just googled it and read off of the page because uh, you know I'm a stupid ass oh no oh no my mistake buddy I'm causing all kinds of accidents not paying attention talking too much supercharged V8 engine pushing out well over 400 horsepower I mean gotta be close to 500 on this thing you guys know the horsepower numbers let me know down in the comments I'm too busy driving and enjoying myself now Forza Horizon 3 yet to come out I am just stroking myself waiting for this game to come out now there is a limited map um, you guys may see that in a second in this video where the map actually runs out which kind of bums me out um, you know brings a tear to my eye but nonetheless we are out here doing a little bit of demos now if you guys are not subscribed to the channel make sure you check it out uh, we got tons of videos already uploaded um, and we're just gonna keep on going with the channel man let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see if you guys want to do some online racing with me and be a part of one of my videos maybe more um, you know, depending on if you beat me or not. If you beat me, then you ain't gonna be in no more of in my my videos, bruh. No, I'm just joking, man. If you guys want to uh, get down with me on Xbox One, definitely add me up. D O N S Q U A L E. I'm gonna stop talking and actually try to keep this on the road. Now, for some reason, I test drove all the other cars in this game. For some reason. I'm all over the road like a like an old lady who just had a couple beers. Mind you, I did have one beer. I'm not as old as an old lady. 
Pretty close to a middle-aged man, though. Some would say. Now this thing... If you feather the gas in first gear, it, uh, it spins the tires, but as soon as you shift into second... We're not going on that dirt road. As soon as you shift into second... There's kind of a loss of power. Now, normally with a supercharger, there would be a real linear linear torque curve. Like, as you can see, lots of wheel spin drifting into second, and we kind of lose power. Now, this is a stock vehicle, I believe. You really have to redline the shit out of it in order to get the back tires to spin. Oh man, that was a close one. Now one thing I'm still not used to, I've been playing this game for at least two hours, maybe three, and man, I'm just not, I'm not used to, to driving on the left side of the road. I will forever be wishing that there was a way, you know how you can change the, uh, the speedometer to kilometers to miles. I will be forever wishing in this game that I could switch it to drive to the right side of the road. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to I'll have to get a mirror or something like that and play in the mirror. Well, we're going to have to see though. You'll see, man. I keep swerving into the right side of the road and it's just a habit of me drifting and taking lines in Forza Horizon 2 so many times that I'm just I'm so used to to drifting in the right lane but it is what it is um i don't know like i say this hey, car Bill. this is a circuit race oh is it oh well thank you uh, beg my part the vehicle drifts good now i don't know what purpose these uh trucks or cars or youths serve i mean we have maybe one ute that i can think of in Canada and the United States. I mean, aside from the Monte Carlo, which is an old school muscle car, the only one that I can think of is the Subaru Baja, I think it is. And the box is so so short on that, like you couldn't even really fit anything in it. Whereas this one, the box is kind of long. I could see how it's long, like, you know, you could fit more stuff in it like a truck but you really can't take this thing off road i i don't know man i i just don't see the need for it but we are probably going to put a end to this video let's do a nice little snap right here in the middle of the road hopefully oh well we just wrecked that fence maybe we'll go somewhere else <laughs> Um, yeah, we're probably going to put an end to this video since you guys are probably getting sick of hearing me talk. What do we say we get a little bit of a roller for this, uh, this photo mode, man? There we go. Let's enter that photo mode. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more. Uh, man... Ah, there's that motion blur. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to check out the channel. Click that subscribe button. We have tons of videos on the channel already. I think we're well over 100, probably close to 200. Um, so, yeah, uh, I appreciate the support, man, and it definitely lets me, uh, you know, get the motivation going for making more videos for you guys. And, um, yeah, I think that's it, man. So, as always... I'm going to say, as always, about 20 times. And, uh, yeah, put an end to this video. We're going to end it off with a little bit of a nasty drift here, man. So, with that being said, I'm going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Hit it, wheels! Oh, oh, no! Oh! For fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. I had a V8, yeah.
Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race direction. 